Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, I'm V and today I'm going to be finishing my manuscript. So for those of you who don't know, I participated in NaNoWriMo throughout the month of November and got 50k in my novel which is basically my whole book but I have about a chapter or two chapters left in my draft and I just want to finish it completely so that I can finally let this draft simmer before tackling my edits for draft two, which I'm so excited for. But basically since NaNoWriMo, and it's December 10th now, so for the past 10 days, I have not touched my manuscript and that's because I had exams right after NaNoWriMo. And for NaNoWriMo, I pushed myself to balance school and writing, but once that was done, I was like, I need to focus fully on my exams. So I did that and they went well for the most part. I still have one next week, but I have enough days between now and then that I can fit in this day for writing. Um, but it went well, so yes, I'm very happy about that. But I'm so excited to dive back in and finish my novel. Like I said, I really, really want to put it to rest and my arms, I'm sorry, my arm is so sore. I'm holding this up, I should use my tripod. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to let it simmer before I can tackle my draft too. But guys, I cannot let my novels or my drafts simmer for long. I'm so impatient. Like I want to dive back in the next day or like at least a week, a week, like literally just a week. But they recommend like two months or a month so you can like really disconnect from your novel. And I totally get it and it makes sense, but I'm impatient. So please comment down below how long you usually let your draft simmer or sit before you dive back in for the next draft because I'm so curious. Someone please say a day so I feel better. Please say a day. That would make my day. <laughs> but yeah, so today I'm going to finish it off. I'm going to write the end and then we gonna close it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Also, I have to point out, I really don't have to point out, but I feel like I should point out that I painted this hand um, white and then this one has no nail polish because I did this one and then I never got around to doing this one so <laughs> we're just gonna have one painted hand and one not also I feel like I wear gray sweatpants in most of my videos I own like five pairs of gray sweatpants so I felt like I should preface that <laughs> I have a lot of gray sweatpants so it's not like I'm wearing the same one but you know when you're a university student you tend to wear sweats like all the time so that's why I was smart and purchased multiple gray sweatpants yeah Okay, now let's write. Wait, guys, they came out with the Good Reads Choice Award. I can't even speak. The Good Read Choice Awards for this year. I'm so excited. I literally love the Good Reads Choice Awards. I find so many good books to read during this. So um, let's go through some of this together. Oh my gosh. Okay, see, this is nominated for Best Romance, The Love Hypothesis, which is on my want to read list, but I haven't gone around to reading it yet. But I've heard so many good things about it, especially from Book Talk. But if it's in nominated Best Romance, then like I have to read it. Also, I really want to read Ace of Spades as well. First of all, the cover is gorgeous. Let me click on it. Let's just let's just take a, a second. Oh gosh. <laughs> that is such a pretty cover. Like, you've gotta be kidding me. I love it. I'm so obsessed with it. Anyways, I have to check out romance first, because that's my genre. But I don't know if rom if romance is just adult romance or like YA and adult, like, I don't really know. But let's check it out because, oh my gosh, people we meet on vacation. This is on my want to read list. I haven't gotten around to reading it and I'm probably going to wait till summer or I, I might be going to Cuba during the break. So we'll see. Either like in the summer or whenever I go on vacation, I feel like this will be such a good book. But oh my gosh, it won. I heard so many things about it, so I'm not surprised. Again, I have to read this. Um, 
So many of these are my want to read list. Wow. Oh my gosh, I love this. See how many books that I don't have on my list? That's perfect. I can like add these all now because I want to read them. Okay, wait, this sounds so interesting. I'm not like, I don't know the last time I read like a witchy book. I used to read witchy kind of books, but it's like mixed with romance. This just sounds really good. I have to look at a preview of it. Never mix a vodka and witchcraft is the first sentence. I'm hooked. <laughs> That's actually so funny. Okay, I'm adding this to my list. It sounds really good. Another thing that makes me so happy is the amount of diversity that's increasing in um, publishing. Like, it just makes me so happy to see all the diversity. It's amazing. I love it. I'm so sorry for so much Goodreads footage, but guys, this sounds so good. Seven Days in June by Tia Williams. This sounds literally so good and I'm adding it. I'm adding it to my want to read. It sounds amazing. Also, I really want to read this, but the concept is kind of similar to mine, so I don't want to read it and then like be discouraged by my own if it's similar like in too many sense. I don't know how to explain it, but hopefully someone gets it. Like they have like a, a soulmate matching thing by um, Scientific Data and mine has like a soulmate ceremony. Um, it's a little different, but it's similar enough that I don't want to read it because I don't want to be discouraged from my own because i know that like you can have the same concept but different portrayals of it so i'm gonna wait on this one but it does sound really really good Can we just take a moment to appreciate the covers on the young, best young adult fiction, science fiction? Like, these are so pretty. Oh my gosh. We love. We love. Time for a breakfast break. All right, guys, breakfast is done and I made some coffee in my cup of cheer mug. You're gonna be seeing a lot of this this Christmas because it's my only Christmas mug. Um, I like collecting mugs. I love mugs, like it's just like my favorite thing. But I have no Christmas mugs except for this one, which I got from Walmart with my boyfriend like two weeks ago, I think, or like a week ago. And it was $2. Like what? I don't understand how it was $2, but I feel like it was unwanted. And you know what? I adopted it graciously into my home. It's so cute. And this is really good coffee. My mom bought like this hazelnut like coffee whitener or whatever. I don't know the difference between coffee whitener and creamer and milk and whatever. But it's so good. Um, and now I'm going to write some more words. Okay, let's write. relate to like getting sappy at the end of your story because like you've just been through so much with these characters that you created and they feel like your babies like you go through their ups and their downs and I don't know just by the end it's just so bittersweet to like bring the whole story to a close like I don't know I thought myself getting like emotional writing these last bits in it's just so like oh my gosh I like I'm in love with Ian and Anna and I'm lo in love with their story and i'm trying to give them a happy ending because i'm a sucker for happy endings like i don't care if it's not realistic <laughs> like i know that there are realistic endings and then there are happy endings but like realistic endings can be happy but i feel like you know what i mean like sometimes endings are not super happy but it's just because they're realistic um not saying that not a happy ending isn't realistic if this makes sense anyways my point is that i love happy endings i'm a sucker for them so I'm definitely going to put that in my own novel just so that like the reader can feel like all the loose ends are tied in a really nice way. So yeah, anyways, I have a few sentences left to write. So I wanted to have my last moment here on camera, not sped up. So I'm going to write it. Okay.
I'm about to write it. Okay, come over here. Oh my goodness, okay. I'm gonna be typing one-handed, so. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh. My. Goodness. Ah! 51,344 words later and we are done the first draft. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I'm also so excited because the idea of like taking, I don't know if I already said this, but the idea of taking what I wrote and making it better the next draft is already like making me super super excited but oh it's bittersweet like i don't want to like close my laptop and like have this be shut out of my life for like a month we'll see how long it lasts it might it i, I might open this after a week um to start editing it but ah, I'm, I'm so happy like that was just such a good experience writing this draft and i'm so happy with I already, oh my gosh i'm saying so happy a lot i'm sorry um but i'm so happy with this how this turned out and i can't wait to start making it better super super excited but thank you guys for joining me on the journey of writing this it, i think it made the process that much more fun and more enjoyable um i wish you the best of luck for your projects let me know a little bit about your projects down below like what it is like your favorite line anything you want like i'm really curious to know about what you guys are working on i guess that wraps this up for now i will be doing some more non-writing related vlogs just until I actually get into editing again I said this in the last one but let me know what content you want to see because I want to curate it for you guys but yeah thank you guys so much for watching please like this video if you liked it and um, feel free to subscribe if you want to and ah, I'm just so so happy right now you guys anyways see you in the next one bye